Hey everyone, it's been two weeks since I've had the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier Edition with LTE from T-Mobile. So here is my initial review two weeks later. So we're going to do this review in two parts. Number one, design, and then number two, the software or the Tizen operating system. So let's get to it. First things first, the design. Now, a big reason why I think there was a big drop off on smartwatch or smartwatches being made like Moto and another company, um, man, it was Moto or LG or some other company are saying that they gave up on making smartwatches is because number one, why do you wear a watch in the first place? Well, number one. Um, the watch should be firstly to help help you tell time, right? And then the other thing is, is that most of those watches were either too techy, had a too much of a techy look, and they weren't very fashionable. Samsung is one of the first um, companies, along with let's say Tag Heuer, which is a normal. Um, and Fossil are like normal watch companies. Samsung, I think they hired, like they hired someone who actually designs normal, like designer luxury watches in making the design and look of the Gear S3. You have two versions of the Gear S3. You have the Classic, which is, the bezel of the Classic is all like, stainless steel and then this one the frontier which is black stainless steel this is the frontier edition that i have and with this samsung is not the first to have the always on watch um watch display but they are the first i would say to implement that look the always on look very well very nicely where if you couldn't tell this would look like a, a normal regular watch by reference here we go if you're a watch enthusiast here it is my samsung compared to my armatron carbon fiber looking divers watch and as you can see, looking at them both, you can tell that the Samsung is a smart watch. It looks just like a regular analog watch. And because of this always on display technology, and even right down to like this gear is 46 millimeters, supposedly. It seems bigger than that, 46 millimeters uh, in, in, is it diameter or sir, or width? This right here, this Armatron is also a 46 millimeter, but you can see the gear looks so much bigger. As far as thickness goes, um, They seem to be about the same or maybe the Armatron looks a little bit thicker and the Armatron like I said is a regular divers watch and this Samsung is a smartwatch so that's number one Samsung did really well with this design it looks like a normal watch this is an example of what I mean with the Gear S3. It's versatile enough and it looks like a regular watch where you can wear it with gym clothes or with dress clothes that you would wear. People, when they see me wear this, and depending on the watch face that I wear or the band that I put onto this, and that's another good design decision from Samsung, is that they did not make the straps or the watch band for this proprietary. It, it can fit any, any standard 22 millimeter watch band that you can 
pretty much get for any watch and which is a real good thing that Samsung did there there's no proprietary system the other good thing is the um, quick release straps so you can change the look of the watch on the fly depending on the occasion or event that you're going to so this is really nice with these uh, quick release straps on this from Samsung so that's another good thing Let's see so like I said, this watch is 46 millimeter in diameter, something like that. Okay, so here the watch is, like I said, the dimensions of this watch is 49 by 46 by 12.9 millimeters. That means 12.9 millimeters thick, 49 by 46 right here on the bezel. It's a pretty heavy watch by itself. It's uh, 63 grams, and that's just the watch itself, not without any. Uh, if you add a, a heavy stainless steel band, it'll make it heavier. The screen is 1.3 inches, 360 by 360 pixels. It's got 768 megabytes of RAM. And it's using an Exynos 7270 processor, dual core processor from Samsung. And it has a 380 milliamp battery. The watch is also IP68 certified. Meaning it can go under like 5 feet of water submerged for 30 minutes without any damage. And... It's also mil spec 10. So you can also, it can take the usual punishment and drops that mil spec has for this watch right here. So design overall is very good. The only negative on this design is if you have smaller wrist, it's probably going to look too big for you, uh, like for ladies. Um, it might not be a ladies watch. It's more a men's watch or a men's look it's more a masculine look and um, even for me or for most people they're gonna say this watch is pretty big like I said it, it wears bigger than a 46 millimeter watch and let me put this back on as you can see but like I said, it looks like a normal watch. It doesn't look like a piece of tech that you're wearing on your wrist. Most of your Android wear and um, other watches are like just a black face until you turn it and look at it. And then you can see the time. I like that. It, this looks like a real actual watch. And for watch enthusiasts and those fans of like analog watches or mechanical watches, you can make this look like a mechanical watch with no problems at all. So that is it for the design. When you take the Gear S3 off of your wrist, it knows when it's not being worn on your wrist and it'll turn dark right there. And I have the always on feature. And so this is how most smartwatches are right there. You just have a blank face. To me, that's not a watch. It's a smartwatch, yes. But it's, it, I don't know, it does, it ruins the purpose of what a watch should look like. And that is something that you could just glance at and check the time so this one you have to like you know if it's on my wrist it would if i turned my wrist like so this would come on and then you could see the time right there so when this watch first came out it was sporting the tizen 2.3 something operating system it has since been updated to ties in I think 3.0.1 operating system and so 
Here is one of my favorite things about this watch. Battery life. This watch, more than any other smartwatch that I had, and I was one of the first people to get the original Samsung Galaxy gear with the big, you know, camera on the side. <laughs> and you could only get it in one style of band. And I had the black one. When my original Samsung Galaxy gear uh, broke, the next smartwatch that I got was for Android Wear, and that was this. This is the Zen Watch 2 right here from Asus. And then now the Gear S3. Like I said, one of my favorite features of this watch is the battery life. Even now, the battery life is going to depend on how you use this watch. For me, usually, mostly, I only use it, number one, like I said, to tell time. Um, and number two, to check my notifications. And on the occasion, I'll take it with me without the phone. And you can, with this being LTE, I don't need my phone to get internet or make calls from this watch it, it's independent of the phone by itself and i have tried out that feature and it, it's pretty nice it's pretty good but if you use all those features and use it as a music player a um activity sport activity tracker and the always on feature it's gonna go it's good the battery will run down a lot faster but not as fast as let's say android were there are other Android Wear watches with bigger battery lives than this one. This has a three, like I said, a 380 milliamp battery. I've seen, um, I think LG or one of the other watches, maybe it was from Tag Heuer or Fossil or Huawei, which had a 480 milliamp battery. And those could not even last as long as the Gear S3. On Samsung's website and also T-Mobile's, it says it can go for three or four days without recharging your uh, your watch. But that three or four days is not with, um, with the always on display being on. And when you go to the settings, this is another ingenious um, that they have on there is with this rotating bezel going through to scroll through menus. If you hit display, when you have always on, it gives you a warning that it'll run down the battery a lot faster or more sooner. And see, turn on watch always on, your watch face will always be visible when you wear your gear, but this will increase battery usage so you can you have a chance to check yes or the x for no so i've since i first bought this i've always had the always on feature and with the always on feature checking notifications um tracking my activity it's pretty good it could last me almost two days with the always on feature and notifications and battery stuff like that Now, this is a con for most of the reviews that I've watched and read, but it's not a con for me. Because this is Tizen, they said, um, there's not a lot of apps for this watch. And till this day, and this watch was released almost two years now. Yeah, almost two years. Maybe a year and a half. Uh, I think Samsung's getting ready to release the Gear S4. There's still not that many apps for it, like they say, compared to the Apple Watch or even Android Wear. But really, come on, how many apps do you need? Do you really need an app where you can play games on the small, on the small screen compared to, like, say, compared to, say, something like a Note 4? Sorry, but I was going to show you my Note 8, but I'm recording with my Note 8. No. 
Why would you want to play games on a small screen like this or watch videos on a round screen? If that was the case, most people would have round TV screens, but they don't. TV monitors, TV screens, they're all rectangular and they're all big screens. So listening to music, I have listened to music on this. Um, it's got four gigabytes of internal storage and I, I just use the music player, the default music player for this, for listening to my music and I pair it with, uh, with headphones. And it's still pretty good, but as far as like using Spotify, I, I haven't used Spotify. Um, you you need a you need to buy a, a a Spotify license to be able to download or listen to mu premium music with the Spotify app, and you can't do download the um, the music and save them onto your watch. So that's why I didn't get um, Spotify on this. I could be wrong, but the last time I checked, I couldn't. So mostly though, like I said, for my use, I use it to make the a call here and there, but not all the time because it still looks kind of weird using your watch to make phone calls. And... Um, I use it to get my notifications. The notification system on this is very discreet. So, and it's real nice because it doesn't like on Android where the notifications would pop up in the, in the bottom of the screen and you can see half of the message before it you know, like disappears. This one, you'll get a yellow dot right there on the um, nine o'clock position right here on the nine o'clock position. And when you see that yellow dot, you know you have notifications. So all you do, is you can either swipe to the right like that or you can use the bezel rotate it to the left to see if you have any notifications which is pretty cool and like I said the menu system that they have on here is pretty nice with this rotating bezel so the, with the rotating bezel so number one you have two buttons here on the sides which is real nice the bottom button is to get you back to your home screen from any screen on this watch. So like say I go to settings and uh, this is my good night watch that tracks my sleep. But in any part of the phone I'm at, in any app, if I just hit the bottom button, it'll just take me back to the home screen. This other button right here is your back, the top button is your back screen, uh, back button. So let's say I go to settings, I hit settings, and um, I go to device. If I want to go one back, I just hit that. I'll go, I want to go one back again, and I hit that and until I get back to the home screen. What would have been nicer, and maybe it's something that Samsung could implement on the Gear S4, is that if you could use this top button right here like say if you go to the menu so you see how that dot is right there on settings if you long press this top button something like that you can actually hit settings without touching your screen that would make it even more intuitive and even more better and then from there if you want to go back you just hit it quick but if you want to go into settings, like you could say, like maybe you could long press it and it'll get you to there. Right now, the long press of the button, what I just did, is to get to Samsung Pay, which is another favorite of mine. So let me just uh, get my PIN number real quick. And there's Samsung Pay. So Samsung Pay, um, you can put in however many uh, credit cards you want and then you can use Samsung Pay on any register that has NFC or even ones that don't have the NFC readers and they have just the the, the slider for the cards it'll use anything for the or the ones for the chip this is real nice it has MTS I think that's what it's called magnetic um, strip 
and then you have the um, NFC for people who have like Apple watches or Android Wear. you can use the NFC function to use Samsung Pay or if you don't have the NFC you can use it on other registers that don't have NFC with that MTS strip the sliding strip for your credit card so that is pretty good Samsung Pay has worked for me 99% of the time where most of the times now when I go out and about I really don't even have to bring my wallet my credit cards or any cash as long as I have my watch with me which I carry with me all the time so I don't really need to carry cash or credit cards when on the go and that's pretty cool Samsung pay really works and it's a big plus on here and like I said the other big plus on this is the Tizen operating system it's very efficient and um, it's very intuitive with this rotating bezel and everything and I think it would be more intuitive if you can use these buttons to make selections in your menu other than you know touching the screen that would make it even better so that is my initial review for this um, Gear S3 Frontier. If you guys have any questions, you, you guys want me to review something on that this uh, watch that I missed, let me know in the comments. But like I said, so far, this is probably the best smartwatch that I have had, both in looks and battery life. Like I said, with the always on feature and um, using it just for fitness tracking, sleep tracking, and... Um, checking my notifications and everything this watch can last me a good two days to almost two days it also depends on the watch face that you use if you use a darker watch face your battery life will last longer if you use a light watch face like a white background watch face your battery will not last as long this is an OLED screen so the darker your watch face that you use you're not using the pixels with the darker screen because it's OLED so the battery or the watch will last longer. The battery will last longer. And the design decision, like I said, is really nice because they made this look like a normal watch. And um, is it worth it? Yes, it is. For me, it is worth it for $399 with the contract. And you can pay this off however you want. Like for me, I'm pl I plan on paying off the uh, this watch from T-Mobile within three months so the watch will be all paid off and the only thing I have to pay is the uh, ten dollars a month for the wireless plan for this uh, for this watch another good design decision on this is uh, is the way you charge this watch so the Asus watch that I got here you see this has these uh, pins right here in the back and so sometimes you have to line up these pins with that charging wire or the wire it's magnetic they still don't catch real well especially now for the for since I've had this for a while sometimes don't, those don't catch so you think it's charging but it's not charging your watch so Samsung they have a much better way of charging your phone and that's wireless just like a, a wireless charging dock so this wireless charging dock connects to another micro USB cable right here and then you plug the micro USB cable you know to a wall socket or you know your wall socket adapters or whatever and then from there it's also magnetic as you can see you just plop it down there right there let it rest onto the uh, dock and if I had this on plugged into the wire it would be charging and what's nice with that is that you can use this stand charging stand when you watch as another like night watch or alarm clock or whatever so that's pretty cool and that's another good design decision that Samsung made the only con is um, it doesn't charge as fast as probably if you were to have that 
wired charging system with the pins like uh I heard the Asus Zen Watch 3, another watch I considered with Android Wear, considered getting that yeah, charges real fast. It charges fast enough, and because of the battery life on this thing, and Tizen being a more efficient operating system than Google's Android Wear, you don't really have to charge it as much if you don't want to. You can, like I said, for me, I can leave this off the charger for almost two days with the always on watch face. So very nice indeed so that is it for my review this is it for the um samsung gear s3 frontier edition with lte from t-mobile like i said if you guys have any questions or anything i missed on this review initial review i will be doing more i will be doing watch faces for this uh smart watch i'll, I'll show you guys all my smart uh watch faces for this gear s3 Stay tuned for that. And uh, so far, yes, it is worth the $399. If you consider Tag Heuer has an Android Wear watch, that's for $1,500. And it doesn't even have um, it doesn't even have a heart rate sensor, a barometer, an altimeter or whatever, like this watch does. And um, from what I've heard... Um, some people have been having troubles with that. It doesn't even have the battery life that this uh, Gear S3 has. Uh, I believe the Gear S3 has the longest battery life out of any smartwatch. And that's, that includes Apple um, Apple Watch 2 and 3. This has the longest battery life, the Gear S3. So I highly recommend this if um, you're looking for a smartwatch. And you're not worried. If you have a samsung phone or if you have an android phone this is highly recommended i don't know how it is with apple because i don't have apple i don't have an apple phone to test it out with so i apologize or maybe i don't because i don't like apple as far as for what i use so that is it everybody take care have a great day and uh, we'll see you again for another video take care